Hey everybody, just want to do a quick update on my 40 gallon native tank here. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner, you will notice what looks like a dead crayfish. But that is in fact the sloughed shell of my crayfish that's still in here. And so now we've got a soft shell crayfish hiding underneath of this rock. I saw a little bit of its antennae sticking out earlier and a little bit of its claws sort of back there in the darkness. And I can actually see a little bit of it now. I know it's not coming out on camera, uh, but it is in there and it will take a day or two for its shell to harden. Uh, the good news is it's the only crayfish left in the tank, so it's not as though there's any uh, animals in here that are going to pose much of a threat to it. The Gambusia, um, I don't know, I doubt the Gambusia would nip at its legs or anything, but when they're soft shell, uh, even something like a guppy or a Gambusia, if it was nipping at its legs, could pull some of that off. Uh, it, again, it is, it's just completely flesh. There's no hardness to the shell at all when they first uh, molt. So that's where we are right now. He's going to spend the next couple of days hardening up. And I find it interesting, if you notice in the back, it looks a little messy. That is some sand. That's sort of unrelated to what I'm talking about. I just had some sand that I needed to get rid of, so I threw it in the tank. And over time, that'll just work its way down into the gravel, and we won't even be able to tell that that little handful of sand is in there. Uh, I did, however, put some stuff in the tank that provided calcium carbonate, a little bit of magnesium carbonate, and a few other little trace minerals and within about a week of doing so i now have a successful molt with my crayfish here the last three crayfish that have tried to molt in this tank had problems during the process and actually died without being able to fully slough their shell and this one now has successfully done so and i'm excited about it it's going to be a big crayfish once it actually hardens back up you can already see the size of the shell to begin with i mean it's not huge, but it wasn't a small crayfish either. But now once they uh, slough and they have that soft shell, they pump themselves all up full of water and they try to get themselves as big as they can before that shell hardens. And it's gonna come out much, much larger than what we were uh, just looking at from that shell. At least that's what I expect. It can't get too much larger because it will top out as far as the species size. They don't get enormous or anything, uh, but it will get up to about five inches just with the body. That's not counting the claws. So that's pretty significant. Uh, I also need to get in there and change out the filter. If you can tell, there's barely a little trickle of water dripping out of it. So it's definitely time to get in there and replace the filter. I do have two power heads now going on in the back there. And so I've got plenty of circulation around the tank. I just don't have a ton of water flowing at the surface there. So there you go. All right, everybody, that's my update on the 40 gallon native tank. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you real soon in the next one.